So even though the figures today are higher than expected, UK government debt is still only roughly about half of its record high. And that was back in 1946. And that post-war debt was used to build our NHS. And that's a perfect example of why today's figures shouldn't deter uh, Rachel Reeves and Keir Starmer from continuing to invest in this country because that's investment we're desperately crying out for. They, though, might have a different view. They might look at it um, as, you know, proof that they do indeed have to continue being prudent. Well, you might think that, but back when David Cameron was Prime Minister, if we can remember that, and he decided to cut the green crap, um, research from Carbon Brief has shown that since 2015, that's actually added £22 billion to our energy bills. So again, a perfect example of why we need long-term investment to fix challenges like climate change that we face, and a fixation on short-term debt figures is not going to get us there. Is there a case for needing, perhaps, I don't know, in terms of a, a more sophisticated approach to public finances, you know, that that reflects more the long-term benefits of public investment. Yeah, absolutely. That's spot on. Because when we're talking about the challenges of the 21st century, like climate change or real rebuilding our schools and hospitals that are literally crumbling around us, we're never going to get there if we just look at month to month uh, borrowing figures, because we're not going to see the long term return on the investments that we need, which is better education system, higher standards of living um, and better health. And those are all things that you don't see a quick return on um, in a month. We really need a longer term, more sophisticated approach um, from all our politicians of, of every party.